What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Difficulty rising. It is Horde Night. I did kill a zombie when I was kind of putzing around here after the video. I didn't want to loot it off camera, so I'll just loot it right now. All right, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and plant these, get them out of my inventory. All right, so we are pretty much ready for Horde Night at this, at this point. Um, you guys might have seen this in the thumbnail, but I didn't do it in the video. Uh, I put the walls up all the way to the top so zombies can't get up there. I was really worried about zombies getting up there. Um, I think it could cause a problem. I've never tested this. And zombies getting up there and breaking in, you know, could have been a real issue. So, uh, so I went ahead and built the wall all the way up to there. Now they kind of, I don't know, match a little bit better. Um, eventually I'll break these out and make it a solid wall. Although I won't do that. Well, I guess I could do that right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have anything else to do. I'm ready to rock and roll. I got my uh, fist right here. I got my pistol right here. I've got the shotgun, you know, just in case. I'm probably going to use the shotgun just for the hell of it. Um, I also put a drop chest over here, like, kind of in the in the ground. You know? Uh, let's see what I put in there. Honestly, I don't remember. Meh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I don't need clay on me. Um, I'm not going to need that. I'll make some room in case I do get some uh, some zombie loot. Um, oh, I actually got the AK on me, too. All right, let's put that right here. Like that. I think that should be pretty good. I only got 700 iron. Uh, I wonder if there's any iron veins around here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I was just thinking, 700 iron. I mean, it's probably going to be okay for the Horde Knight, but I am going to have to be repairing um, those forges. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, before I do anything else, let's go ahead and turn the audio down. I'm not turning the... Um, I'm not going to turn down uh, the visuals because we should be okay. You know, it shouldn't be that crazy. Um, my Horde Knight is going to be 12 zombies at a time. So, there we go. And, um, oh, I'm also going to look for a mod that takes out the irradiated effect that the zombies have. Um, someone told me in Discord about a mod for irradiated zombies, where it just takes out that awful... I mean, it's not awful. It actually looks pretty cool. But it's awful on my frame rate. Uh, that irradiated effect. That's when my, that's when my frames really go to hell. Um, like, they take a hit, but... but those irradiated zombies, they really just absolutely tank, like, unplayable. Slideshow. So I'm going to look for a mod to get rid of those. And, uh, yeah. Just going to get some iron here. I guess I'll just get iron for the whole time. We got somebody over here? Or is that a tree? No, it's a tree. Okay, well. It could have been a zombie. You don't know. All right, brighten this up just a little bit. Actually, I might not have to brighten it up too, more cause, uh, too much more. Because I'm going to be in a very enclosed area. Anyway, this is my fallback base. Um, and this one is the one that I'm going to start in. This is the one that's on the ground. This is the one, you know... That has the area here that they might be able to, you know, get to me. But we'll see. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, but either way, I'm sure it's going to be fun. Hopefully we don't raise that death count any. Also, I moved the uh, uh, the AK back because I really want to see the AK for POIs. You know, um, because I don't want another rooftop incident. But hopefully I can do most of this on my fist. That should be alright. I mean, it's going to be 12 zombies, but it's not like, you know, 64 like I was doing last Horde Night. Um, in my last world. <laughs> I might never do 64 again just because that was ridiculous. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I can get, the, if I can get the mods, uh, if I can get the mods that will take out the irradiated, like, look. Basically what it does, it makes them, like, normal zombies except their eyes glow green. Um, if I can get that working, then, you know what? I might just do that. And then maybe I can do 64 zombies again. I like 64 zombies. I just don't like playing with 5 frames a second. Uh, and what I mean by not like playing at 5 frames a second, I won't play at 5 frames a second. So. Alright, gotta remember to aim for the head even more so than usual, buddy. Okay, go. Haymaker! Some people are asking, where's the haymaker? So, I'll, I'll give you some haymakers. Okay, here you go. Ouch. I forget they're going to do a ton of damage to me. It's to me, though. I don't think... It's not the blocks, so... They do normal damage to blocks, as far as I know. Ow. Oops. There you go. For some reason, I wasn't fixing it. Alright, we gotta wait a little bit. Gotta wait for some stamina. Aim high, bro. Aim high. There we go. Okay. They're doing a lot of damage. There's a lot of them in there. I don't know if I'm going to do enough damage with my punches, you know, to make this work. It's kind of hard to hit him in the head, you know? Um, but I don't know. A lot of times I feel like I should hit him in the head, but kind of like hits him in the, in the chest. The chesticles, you know? 
throw in a haymaker every once in a while. Why not? There you go. Alright, it's number nine, Cage. Please remember it's number nine. Alright, I shouldn't be doing haymakers. It's just killing my stamina. Okay, so just left click, bro. Just left click, it ain't that hard. Stop getting hit. I don't know why I keep going up so far. They've got some reach, man. No joke. Nine. Eight. It's eight, not nine. There's only eight buttons on the hop bar, bro. Eh, let's just go ahead and use this. <laughs> I missed everybody. Awesome. Okay. There you go. I just wanted to use up that ammo. It's all gone now. Very good. All right. Back to punchy punchy. Punchy punchy in your face. Do da. Do da. Gonna punch you in your face all live long day. I don't know. Probably not how that song goes, but that's my version of the song. There you go. Aim for the skull. Aim for the stupid skull. Sometimes you like miss them if they're like in an attack animation when you shouldn't. A lot of loot over there too. Okay. It's also nice because you can stun the crap out of them like this. And every minute you're stunning them is minutes they're not doing damage to your your hatches. No oh, doggy. Oh, doggy! I got some dogs coming in. That might be a little bit of an issue. Dogs are annoying. What the hell happened to the dog? I don't even see him anymore. There he is. So how am I going to deal with that dog? Oh, got him. Yeah, dog's going to be a bit of a... Bit of a headache, but hey... No horde base is perfect, right? Oh, got him there. I heard him. You know what? I don't think the haymaker's worth it. Punchy, punchy. This is going very well. That should be a signal to worry. But, you know, so far so good, right? Oh, so good. The dogs running on their heads. There we go. Punchy, punchy. Okay, clocked you right in your temple. You're next. Ah, I got the dog. Oh, they're really uh, hammering that thing, huh? No pun intended exactly. They almost broke through it, or got close. It's okay. That's why I've got a bunch of them. I think it's a dog that's the real problem with this. Because I can't get rid of him. There you go. Alright, well, whatever. We can always back up if we need to. There we go. We're not getting just regular zombies. I mean, we're getting kind of regular zombies, but the big berth is... And the um, Edgar suits are, uh, you know, they're a little tougher. No Hawaiian zombies yet, but... I wonder if Edgar's suit and Big Birth is on the same level as Hawaiian zombie. Got the dog. Yeah, the dog was the real issue. Come on. Come on. Upgrade. There you go. All right. You got any food on us? Uh, no. That's alright. More dogs! Haymakers! Haymakers coming at you. See, I think the thing is, I don't hit him in the head that often. Or not, like... I'm not hitting him in the head a lot, so... Um, the haymakers are kind of, like, wasted if you don't hit him in the head. You know? Because I could swing like le I could swing left click quite a few times in the amount of um, in the amount of stamina it would take 
to losing a haymaker. Can't believe I didn't bring any food. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay, aim for the skull. Aim for the skull. All right, level 16, liking it. Okay. There you go. I'm really trying hard to like hit him in the head. Usually I wouldn't worry about it as much, but in this let's play it obviously matters a lot more. Gee, you stupid picture in the freaking jaw. Okay, yeah, I can throw a couple haymakers in there. Why not? Why not? It's funny. I get I get stamina more stamina back than I use when I'm left clicking, so I could just punch left click all day and then throw a couple haymakers when I get max stamina. Yeah. Damn, I love this design. This is just fantastic. Hey, right, hold on there, guys. I got to repair. Right, they are just hammering that thing, but not enough. Come on. Punch, punch. Now, the only thing that sucks about this design is, like, it's not really set up well for traps. But, I mean, if you just want experience, this is the way to go. My other, my next design will be all about traps. Oh, yeah, it will. I think I'm killing him pretty slowly, to be honest, but... Because they're not even exhausted yet. Come on. There you go. Alright, time to repair. This thing's taking some serious damage. They're actually hitting the one behind it, too. That's some hella reach right there, man. Come on. Come on, repair, damn it. There you go. Come on, you can do it! You could do it, Dennis! What is that from? Come on, man. Come on, bro. Damn. Repair. See, I don't want them to break it out completely. Because then it's more expensive to, you know, replace it. Well, I mean, I don't know. All that repair. Anytime you're repairing something and doing no damage to the zombies, you're kind of throwing resources away. Maybe it'd be better not to repair it. And just replace it later. I mean, repairs aren't free, right? Oh, more dogs. I have a feeling that dogs might be able to glitch in. Come on, come on, mutt. Get out of the way, I'm trying to punch a dog. Can't punch a dog with these dickheads in the way. Come on. There you go. Punch the dog. Punching the dog right in the face. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I like giving the right. I think it looks cool. Rather than just left, left, left. It looks more dyna dynamic and just cooler to throw a right. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, you get back there, buddy. I feel like that haymaker's landing a lot. Well, it did there. All right. Keep going, man. Oh, boy. Oh, they got through one. Okay. Yeah. Those dogs are a serious, serious issue. 
Now, as they funnel in here, they're going to attack the walls. Yeah, I see they're attacking the walls. Um, because they all can't get to the... They all can't get to the hatch. Okay. Maybe I should use that awful stun baton, huh? No. I don't think so. Come on. Come on, repair it, damn it. There you go. I can't believe this horde hasn't been exhausted yet. I guess it's because I haven't used any guns. There you go. Now I'm doing some work. See, this funnels them a lot easier when you get into the first one. Or when you get past the first one. It looks like they're starting to be done. There we go. Beautiful. That, my friends, was awesome. I'm going to stay in here for the night, though. 250% difficulty. I think I'm just going to hang out here. Let's take a look at our points. So we do have three points, okay? Um, see, I don't know. I don't know. Should I go for the chemistry station? I don't think I should. I think we go for stuff like salvage operations, lucky looter... Maybe we should go a little bit more into... What was I doing? Strength trait. Yeah, this stuff. Could do that stuff. Um, I think Machine Gunner might be a good thing to start putting points into. Um, or... Let's just put points into Fortitude. Up to five. And then we'll go another Brawler. Do I really want to go Hardcore after Brawler? I'm, I do think I want my guns to start doing a little more damage. But I also want to do Pain Tolerance. Hmm. I wonder what kind of meals I can make. I have to worry about cooking and stuff. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay. You know what? You know what? Always go with your gut. I'm going to go pain tolerance. There we go. And I'm going to start doing machine gunner too. Okay, we survived their first horde night without incident. Alright, let's get some loot. What do we got here? Wow, 380 dukes ain't bad. I think one of the loot containers disappeared. I was thinking about looting them during the night, but I wasn't sure the ward was over it, and like, it wouldn't take much for a couple zombies to beat me in the back and kill me. So, I decided not to. But, yeah, there you go. I think we have a, um, an airdrop as well. Why don't we get that airdrop since... Uh, uh, airdrop, 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 DC, HB, airdrop. There we go. Why don't we go ahead and grab that airdrop. It dropped the other day. I was going to get it, and I never did. And um, I was like, yeah, let's get it today. We've got a couple more minutes left on this video. Why not? All right, we're going to be doing next video. Next video, I'm going to go get a um, a quest, and we're just going to be questing like fools. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do anything that I hoard base till day, uh, for day 14. I'll probably just do little things here and there. I don't even know what else I could do. Um, honestly, that, I mean, really? I don't do anything. Maybe upgrade the concrete and start working on the next hoard base. That's the only thing I could really think of. I don't have to design the next word base. I hate like the feeling where you, you have a design for your next word base, but it's not quite like built yet in your brain, but you kind of have an idea. It's very unsettling. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. But I have a good idea. I do know I do know a way to filter uh, demolishers. Will it work? Like I said, I said this last video, I'll say it again. You can go test stuff in a world, and it doesn't mean it's gonna work every time. Like I've tested stuff that worked. And then I went and tested it the next day and it didn't work. So, you know, who knows? It might work, it might not. I don't know. But I do have an idea. So, it should be pretty cute. I do want to uh, upgrade. Oh, by the way, uh, I when I was I did some upgrading during the night. And I put another point into uh, pain tolerance. And I do want to start banging these out too. Like, hardcore, man. Because, um... Yeah, I, I really, when I dig, I want my digging to count. So, I think I'm pretty good on pain tolerance and fisticuffs for a little while. Uh, and I think what I'll do is I'll start working towards maybe putting a point or two in a machine gunner. And um, then start, you know, making my digging count a little bit more than it does. <laughs> Freaking beaker. Uh, I died for a beaker and there's one. It's a pretty decent um, airdrop though for this early in the game. Uh, I think those are about the same because I got two things. Actually, when you put stuff in there, is it... Yeah, this actually is plus one armor rating. So these two are 
Should be exactly the same as far as armor rating goes. Yeah, they are. But this one has the extra mod slot, so it's obviously better. Now, the thing is, do I want to repair this and sell it or just scrap it? I think I'll scrap it. I'm not doing good on repair on um, repair kits, so I can't just be repairing stuff and selling it. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> that was hella funny. All right. You know what? Let's hit the trader. Jeez. I mean, that, that horde night went so quick, we got time for other things. So I'm just going to wait for the trader to open up. We'll hit the trader. All right, Trader Joel's is open. Let's go see what he's got. We're going to look through his stash, and we're going to grab a quest that we're going to do next video. It's going to be all questing uh, for quite a few videos now. And, um, yeah, we're look what are we looking for, honestly? We're looking for money, levels, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, more levels than anything. Hello, stranger. What's up, bro? What kind of jobs you got? Um, oh, boy. All right, I'm going to do the fetch clear. Bear supplies are pretty cool, but I don't know. There's... I'm not fighting these zombies with it, you know. Alright, let's see what you got, bro. Uh, don't care about scrap. A mining helmet I don't need. Ooh, steel gloves. Can't afford them, but still. Uh, nice AK you got there, bro. Iron reinforced club, wooden bow, more AK. Jesus, this guy's got like 50 AKs. Okay, maybe that's a little bunch, but... Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Didn't I... Don't I have the ability to make those now? Yeah, no, I don't. Not yet. But I'm still not going to buy them. I mean, that's like Demolisher type stuff. Like, that's like much, much later in the game. So I will not buy those right now. Um, eh. I usually don't buy the food off him because it's overpriced. Not just him, but any trader. Okay. Uh, oh, man, repair kits are so expensive. I'm not paying 400 freaking caps for... Caps. <laughs> Dukes for a repair kit. No, sorry. Not going to happen. I will buy the cobblestone, though. Because 500 for 100, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be careful what I buy, though, because I don't have any points in a better bartering yet. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I got to buy that. Okay, what else? What do we got in here? Oh, that might be what we're saving up for. 12,000 Dukes. Think we can get that by day 10? Eh, kind of want that, but I think I'm going to save up for that mini bike. I think saving up for that mini bike would be a real, real good way to go. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, guys. So, all right, I'm going to call this a little bit early because, you know, what are you going to do? The horde ended early. Um, yeah, we're going to save up for the mini bike. I would like to get the mini bike by day 10. That would be fantastic. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.